we reviewed the Italian Grand Prix at Monza, a preview of the Tuscan Grand Prix, Sergio Perez leaves Racing Point. Hello and welcome to the only TV show on Nigerian TV focused on motorsports. My name is Gerard Gugafi Turikusari and this is Finish Line. We begin the show today with a look back into last weekend's uh, Formula One uh, Grand Prix, which took place at Monza. The Italian Grand Prix took place at the Autodromo Nationale Monza. We are uh, interestingly, we had uh, the trio of uh, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz, and Lastro taking the podium. Um, it was quite an upset for the. Um, team that has been uh, on the winning streak, the Mercedes team, and uh, in fact, um, it has actually brought out some of the best, best uh, talents on the Formula One uh, racing uh, championship, which ordinarily wouldn't have been seen, but for the penalty that uh, Lewis Hamilton had. Meanwhile, let's see how all of these guys um, celebrated their wins, how the team took it, the excitement and all that went along with the winning of these guys that were on the podium last weekend. Watch this. So there you have it, um, the trio of uh, Pierre Gasly, of Alfa Tori, um, Carlos Sainz of McLaren, and uh, Lance Stroll of Racing Point celebrate their victories with their teams. Uh, 
and all that was also cut the teams uh, Alpha Tori, McLaren, and Racing Point. Now, so this, to discuss all of all these winnings uh, that are unprecedented, never happened before uh, in the Formula One, I must also tell you, before uh, going on in the show, I must also tell you that um, it was the first win ever in his Formula One history for Pierre Gasly. Yes, it's worthy of note. And so, um, to discuss all of all this on the show today with us is um, a sports analyst, uh, Alon Shawa uh, Tayo. You're welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. So, um, Pierre Gasly was excellent. Carlos Sainz was um, fantastic. And... Uh, um, Lance Stroll was amazing in the last weekend's uh, race at uh, Autodromo de Asena Monza, the Italian Grand Prix. So what's your, what's your take now as regards Pierre Gasly's uh, performance? Let's look at Pierre, uh, Pierre well, Gasly first. Um, for me, thank, thank you for having me once again. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an amazement because I wasn't expecting him to actually. So mm -hmm. I was, I've already counted it mm -hmm. for Lewis Hamilton, but... Yes. Due to the penalty and the whole uh, scenario that mm. happened, yeah, the, the, the crash, um, Charles Leclerc's crash, and uh, so, which but led to, for me, it's a yeah. fantastic one. And then he goes to tell us that by the time Hamilton leaves the scene, mm. there are people who, yeah, people yeah, that are talented, fantastic, yeah, talented uh, amazing guys, yeah. uh, drivers yes. that will take over. Mm. So it's a good one, and we could see from the. Uh, the celebration. Mm. He himself was not <laughs> even even <laughs> till date, till now. I mean, he still posts on uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter that uh, he can't still believe that he won the, the race at Monza. He's an amazing feat. That yeah. is that overtaking, outshining. Um, but rebutters. Yes, even no, 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 Lewis started at the, at the end of the grid uh, behind because uh, you know um, when Charles Leclerc had his accident, um, the safety car came up. You know, usually when the safety car comes up. Uh, Many drivers go to the pits, you know, to change tires or refuel or something. And so uh, Lewis Hamilton thought it was time for him to just do that. And he went in, but the pit wasn't opened. They didn't open the pit for him, so he was penalized for going to the pit. So the penalty was for him to start 10 seconds later than all others on the and grid when the race was restarted. It, it, yeah, it yeah, he came, up, he came up, he came up, he came up to seventh position. But now the thing is, Valtteri Bottas came fifth. That's uh, Lewis Hamilton's teammate. He came fifth. And um, the, the thing there is, Pierre Gasly was able to beat Valtteri. You know, with all the experience of Valtteri Bottas, and driving with Hamilton all the time and all that, it's expected that he should be able to hold up you know, for uh, Louis Hamilton. But uh, you know, Pierre Gasly came up, he won it. Uh, was was in the top of the race. Uh, Carlos Sainz of McLaren also. Then Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll was amazing, really amazing. That was shocking to me. So what? Before we talk about Lance Stroll, let's talk about uh, Carlos Sainz. What do you think about Carlos Sainz's performance? Well, I think um, he's just taking an advantage mm. of the whole situation, mm. and they were able to. Because if you look at what actually happened, like you've analyzed, mm. if we were to be a uh, Leo Hamilton, that mm. was in both uh, uh, yeah, position. position. Yeah. Probably Gasly wouldn't have. Yeah. Because no. definitely he would no. give his best. Hell and no. the, the pressure would be on him. Yes. You know? Yes. Seeing a meeting, competing with a meeting at that level. Mm. But for me it was a fantastic one for from for, uh, yeah. from Carlos Sainz. Okay, yes. what about Lance Stroh? Lance Stroh has never really been in the forefront of these things, you know. Um, that's why it's really amazing to me that Lance Stroh, I mean he was always behind, you know, always behind, you know. He's never really come even occasionally he falls into top ten, you know, but I mean this last race was just something else, you know. Well for me, um uh, it's a time for them to begin to do <laughs> Uh, the big, uh, because the, the truth is, Amazing cannot be uh, at the forefront forever, mm. you know. Mm. So it's just a challenge mm. for all of them to, mm. to pick up. Mm. And uh, it's a good one that they've been able to show mm. uh, the stuff they are made of. But the truth is, come the next race, mm. definitely Amazing is going to take uh, the pole position again. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it to me, it look unstoppable at the present moment. I don't see anybody coming up. Well, I don't want to say too much, but uh, the truth is that um, Hamilton is a rare talent. 
not because I'm a fan of his, but <laughs> he's a rare talent. And, you know, like um, people say, a lot of um, analysts have said that it's because the party mode was removed from, uh, this party mode is one of the regulations that said such that you, the engines can operate at a level where it's maximum capacity to such an extent that the speed is excessive. You know, that, uh, that term party mode was actually coined by Lewis Hamilton and it was adopted by everybody, party mode. So some analysts have the opinion that uh, it was because the party mode has been removed and that's why uh, Lewis, Lewis Hamilton couldn't uh, really perform well. What's your... Uh, well, for me, I don't think that was an excuse. Mm -hmm. Probably, you know, um, one second in a race like that mm -hmm. counts a lot. Counts a lot, yes. Because it's just like athletics. Mm -hmm. Like if you start maybe a second behind yes, yes. the, the you've lost time, you know, you've lost time. So mm -hmm. I think that was what actually affected him. And, you know, it has to do with psychology, mm -hmm. you know, I've, I've only been penalized mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, but for me, I, I don't think it's the passing mode, the removal of the passing mode mm -hmm. that actually didn't affected really affect him. Uh, yeah, I agree with you because even um, the team principal of Mercedes, uh, Toto Wolf, actually said that... Um, uh, the, the, they've been preparing for the ban that once people noticed that party mode was so much in the favor of Mercedes, they started complaining and all that, and that they've actually been preparing for the ban. And so um, it, it, the removal of the party mode didn't even really affect them. You know? well, um, for me, I think what will happen is probably the next race. Mm. Then it should start from the beginning without the party, and let's see. Now, of oh, course, party mode has been banned, so they're not going to be starting with party mode. So, but <laughs> with or without party mode, mm -hmm. I think Amity, still, we still maintain the top. He's the a rare talent. You know, starting at the back of the grid means you're starting at the 20th position. You're the last to move, you know, as in 10 seconds delay. And then he ended up on P7. I mean, that's an amazing feat on its own. It's if he was able feat. to beat... Um, 13 other guys haven't started behind them, you know, 10 seconds behind them. Oh, <laughs> was able to beat them. It was an amazing. I mean, thing. if you had given him two more seconds, it's not like I'm pressing him. <laughs> 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 if you give him two more seconds, I believe he would have made the podium. And then two more minutes, he would have won the race. You yeah, know, that's that's the race. Race. That's then, why. Yeah. I, I think it's, it was the uh, the penalty that actually affected. Yeah, it was the penalty. Ordinarily, the without the penalty, mm. he would have uh, recorded another mm. uh, fit. Another, yes, another. Well, it's a fantastic victory. one for him, and I know he will bounce back from all this. Certainly, certainly. Uh, the likes of Toto Wolff uh, at the helm of affairs that the Mercedes team would not uh, allow. Uh, Mercedes to just go down like that. No, it's not possible. They are, they are in the habit of, if you remember what happened in Spa, where they didn't really do well, the, the next race they came out and then they, they, they and not, the, not Spa, um, in Britain, and then they came out in Spa doing very well. Yeah. And, and they have the best machine, you know. Um, you know, a lot of things is going for Amity, mean, the mm. money, mm. you know, the sponsorship. Mm. I think a whole lot of this is going to count for him. So I'm counting on him. But are you he's saying that he's not talented enough, apart from the money? He is, he yeah. is. Yeah. So somebody and to move from back of the grid to the You know, 17. and just like uh, I was discussing with you before we came on here, that mm. uh, Formula 1 is uh, it's a sport for the whites. Mm. So seeing him, a lot of things supposed to work against him, being a mm. black man. Mm. And, but he was able to put those mm. behind him. Mm. And he's looking... That thing stopping. that made him to be able to come up to limelight in Formula One is what actually still helped him in this race. Yes. Yeah, that's what <laughs> helped him. <laughs> you know. But let's uh, move on. Let's move on to the show. Um, Ferrari. Let's look at Ferrari's uh, performance. What do you think? Well, for me, Ferrari have not been probably because of Sebas in Vettel. Uh, is uh, is either here or there and. You know, it's a, it has really affected his rating because mm. for me, before um, Lewis Hamilton became what he be, what he is today, I've always been rooting for Sebastian Vettel. Okay. You know? Before we, before we just hold it there, just hold your thoughts there. Before we um, go on on this, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to the show. Um, do partner with us, with the mobile companies, allied uh, companies, even uh, FMB. Uh, partner with us on the show. So, um, Mr. Tayo, still on the Ferrari performance, um, you were saying something. Let's, uh, so, like I was saying before, um, you know, Sebastian Vettel is the, the main man there. And, yeah. um, you know, the rating, a lot of things have been working against him. Mm. And the, the, the fact is, you know, Germans are known for doing very well when it comes to motorsports. Yes. But for me, he's, he's not really been doing well. And, you know, probably... He's been, came, having, he's been he, having issues with the management of the team, you know. Yes, the, and... Um, Probably because him and uh, Hamilton, they mm. came at the same time. Okay. So, you know, and Hamilton, Hamilton is doing so well. And he's doing so well and uh, <laughs> they look unstoppable. So, a whole lot of that mm. also mm. might even be one of the reasons mm. why he has not been. But, um, like you have said, the management also counts a lot mm. against him. And mm. you also know that he's not having uh arena of contract mm, so he's yeah, living yeah, at the end yeah, so a whole lot of this yeah. is going to affect but even before now mm. he has not been really doing well mm. as expected but don't you think that because he has to leave the team for another team uh he should perform well to give assurance to the new team the next team he's moving on to i mean in terms of performance well, he's, he's also part of it. Although he has not been winning, but his racing has been, um, maybe it's been fair enough. There are times he came second, mm. came third. So with that, I think that should also count for him. But like I said, I don't see him um, overtaking Lewis Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton. Now, because okay. he's on form of his life. And Watching um, motorsport now, mm -hmm. the first name that comes to mind mm -hmm. is Hamilton. Yes, of even course. before they start the race, especially you, in this part you, of the world, you know, you mm -hmm. just you count it before mm -hmm. you will have count the results. Yes, yes, yes. You yes predict yes, yes. the results uh, even before. Yeah. Uh, and that was why Monza was uh, a different game altogether and brought out some excitement in the whole uh, Formula One. Uh, so, race. so that's that's that. Could some be people even tell race. you that the uh, the race has become boring because you already know the winners. You know, but so, uh, yeah, uh, he could also be part of the reason because mm. this is um, for me, Lois Hamilton is more like a threat mm. to a lot of them. Well, so, I'm not guy. talking about the upcoming, yeah, I understand. Uh, likes of Sebastian, then, uh, you know, his contemporaries, it, yeah, you know, winning back to back to mm. back like that. He mm. stand. Uh, as a threat. So, but that, that for the uh, Monza, uh, the Italian Grand Prix at Monza, uh, there were other factors that affected uh, Sebastian. Uh, let's listen to the debrief from uh, Ferrari. Take a listen. After Spa, we knew Monza was going to be a difficult weekend, and so it was. Uh, from the beginning of the race, uh, it was very, it was a shame for Seb that uh, a brake uh, problem uh, made him. We had, he had to retire and uh, of course his race was, was very short, he really couldn't complete almost any laps. Um, and then for Charles at that point he was uh, closing the first pack of cars which more or less had the same pace from, from Carlos Sainz to Charles' position. There was not really a big difference on, on pace. Then the safety car due to uh, Magnussen's uh, retirement changed completely the race. At that point Charles was even in a podium position because Hamilton had to take the penalty, Stroll had to do a pit stop at that point, and Charles really was fighting for a very, very good position, and it was a shame that bit accident, but having said that, we are very happy that he's okay. It was a very, very hard uh, accident at very high speed at Parabolica, so that's the most important thing, that Charles is fine. Of course, I think he would have had a good race at that, at that moment, although we don't know, but that's, that's my opinion, but uh, that's the way it is, so now we are all focused on Mugello, a completely different race. It's going to be the 1000th Grand Prix for Ferrari, so it's going to be a very special race for us. And all united, we want to do a very good result there for the Tifosi. Yeah, so that was the debrief from uh, Ferrari. You see that from what he said, um, that's uh, Mark Jean. What Mark Jean said, um, 
that Seb had uh, mechanical issues with his vehicle. Uh, what's your take on that? Well, um, like I've said earlier, Mercedes, they, they are known for uh, building mm -hmm. a better machine. Mm -hmm. And um, part of uh, that could be another reason mm -hmm. for Seb. But, you know, in a game of sports, you can't come up with any excuse. So it's either... But Ferrari, Ferrari is also a very good machine. I mean, Ferrari builds very good cars, supercars. I mean, they're specialists in supercars. Uh, but, you know, most times we, we had... We and don't forget that's have, Italian technology. You know. he, he always have um, overheating his mm. vehicle. Mm. And so some of these things, why you have to stop mm. along the race. Mm, yeah. You know, mm. this is also part of the reason why. Because hardly can you see Lewis Hamilton stopping. So once he starts, mm. Mm. he finishes. Mm. Like no, but, but there are times that uh, Mercedes have had issues with their vehicles where Mercedes, uh, Lewis Hamilton's vehicle stopped, you know, just like that. Even some years back, I think, yeah, a few years back, the, the vehicle stopped completely and nobody till date can explain what happened, you know, so, yeah. Mm, the, the, the issue is in recent time, it has not been like that. Yeah, so they've times, improved. Yes. Mm, yes. So probably there is something Ferrari are not doing well. Mm. So and because uh, from McGin now we hear that uh, the brake break, break was a problem and so uh, Sebastian couldn't do much laps and he had to pull out of the race. Now again, would you say uh, Ferrari had some a bit of bad luck? <laughs> because when you look at it, the, uh, Sebastian pulled out of the race and then um, Charles Charles Leclerc was um, the only man flying the Ferrari flag, so to speak. And then, going very well, he had a crash. And that put an end to the Ferrari campaign on that uh, uh, championship on that race, the Monza. So what's the other thing? Well, for thing? me, uh, in this part of the world, <laughs> like you said, <laughs> if it was to be in the part of the world, one would have said probably it's spiritual, it could be diabolical. <laughs> but over there, well, we cannot categorically say mm. what could be the reason. Mm. But for me, I think um, it might just be a coincidence. Mm. It must have been a coincidence that such a thing happened. Because uh, they've not had it that bad. No, it's not been this bad. So it's, 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 it was just a coincidence that such a stand happened. Well, I think their focus is on uh, Mugello. That's the Tuscan Grand Prix coming up this weekend. This weekend, uh, I, as a matter of fact, it's ongoing right now. The Tuscan Grand Prix. So. Um, their focus is on it, and it, incidentally, it's the 1,000th uh, race for Formula uh, Ferrari team. So, based on this, let's um, preview the Mugello uh, race. That is the Tuscan Grand Prix. Uh, well, it's a 5.2 kilometer uh, circuit. It also uh, has 15 turns, and it, that circuit, incidentally, the Mugello circuit, is owned by uh, Ferrari. They use it for testing. So what's your take? What do you think will happen in uh, Tuscan, well, the Tuscan Grand Prix? For That's me, tomorrow's uh, race, you know, what, what do you think will happen? Uh, like, like you said, you know, to many, the, the game of motorsport is becoming boring. Mm. Probably because it's, it has always been all about Lewis Hamilton. Mm. But I, I see Ferrari, Probably at the end of the day, they might not win. You know, mm. the fact that they are racing on their own. Um, That's where they use for testing. It's a familiar terrain for them. They should be able to perform very well there. They will definitely do well. But at the end of the day, mm. we might not, they might not get to the podium. Mm. You understand? They mm. might not win at the end of the day mm. because you still have to give it to, because you have to count on the, um, um, the current form mm. of Lewis Hamilton okay. because he's doing well at the moment, mm. even if there are chances for Ferrari to do well. Mm. So you are still going to give uh, Lewis Hamilton a brighter chance to actually mm. over the, um, to to uh, to do better. But okay. I'm not counting them out. So most especially for uh, Sebastian Vettel. So. I'm hoping we'll be able to win at least one race before leaving. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to the show. Uh, do partner with us, automobile companies, uh, allied businesses, including foods and beverages, uh, financial sector. Yeah, do partner with us. So, um, Mr. Tayo, we're rounding up. Uh, your take on Hamilton, Bottas, Verstappen, don't forget Verstappen has really been doing very well, uh, Fred Bull has been doing very well, uh, and then the trio of these guys that won uh, the last uh, race at Monza. What's your take on all of them? Hamilton, Bottas, Verstappen, Pierre Gasly, Carlos Sainz, and uh, Lance Stroll. Well, for me, in tomorrow's um, racing, mm -hmm. I'm still giving you to Hamilton. Hamilton? Yes. <laughs> because, like I said earlier, whether the party mode is there or not. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Because one would have said, one would have said that because of the penalty, mm -hmm. that was what affected. Yeah, that's, so yeah, yeah. They are going to start at the same time. Mm -hmm. Let's see who, but for me, I still feel Hamilton stand the chance. Who's taking second? <laughs> uh, well, I'm, let's say, um, am I your speak, Sebastian Vettel? Sebastian? Yes. Okay, third. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are putting me on the spot. Yeah, let's get the podium. Oh, <laughs> mm. mm, ghastly. Ghastly. Thank you very much for coming on the show, Mr. Tayo. Thanks uh, for having me. And um, I do hope to have you some other time. Thank you very much. And that is on this edition of the show. Do follow us on social media to continue the conversation. My name remains Jerry Agogoyfi Turikusari. Whatever you are up to on the roads, do make sure to stay safe. Bye-bye.